In September 2024, less than two months before the next U.S. presidential election, the United Nations will host a landmark summit of the future, where member nations will adopt a pact for the future. The agreement will solidify numerous policy reforms offered by the United Nations over the past two years as a part of its sweeping Our Common Agenda platform. Although there are numerous radical proposals included in the agenda, perhaps none are more important than the UN plan for a new emergency platform, a stunning proposal, to give the UN significant powers in the event of a future global shocks, such as another worldwide pandemic. Many of the details of the UN emergency platform were laid out in a March 2023 policy paper titled Strengthening the International Response to Complex Global Shocks an emergency platform. In the paper, the UN Secretary General writes, quote, I propose that the General Assembly provide the Secretary General and the United Nations system with a standing authority to convene and operationalize automatically an emergency platform in the event of a future complex global shock of significant scale, severity, and reach, close quote. Once triggered, the emergency platform would give the UN the ability to actively promote and drive an international response that places the principles of equity and solidarity at the center of its work. The UN would bring together the stakeholders of the world, including academics, governments, private sector actors, and the international financial institutions to ensure there is a unified global response to the crisis. The emergency platform would also give the United Nations the power to ensure that all participating actors make commitments that can contribute meaningfully to the response and that they are held to account for the delivery of those commitments, closed quote. In other words, the United Nations would be given unprecedented authority over the public and private sectors of huge swaths of the world, all in the name of battling a yet unknown crisis. As difficult as it might be to believe, the story does get worse from here. Although the duration of the emergency platform would initially be set for a finite period of time, at the end of that period, the Secretary General could extend the work of an emergency platform if required, according to the United Nations own policy proposal. That means that the Secretary General would have the authority to keep the emergency platform in place indefinitely, all without reauthorization from member nations. What kind of global shock would trigger the emergency platform? The UN provides several possible examples in its formal proposal, including a climate event, a future pandemic risk, the global digital connectivity disruption, or a major event in outer space. And here's my personal favorite, unforeseen risks, black swan events. This isn't to say that those incredibly broad categories would be the only potential justifications allowed to trigger an emergency platform. The proposal makes it clear that it would allow the convening role of the United Nations to be maximized in the face of crisis with global reach and should be agnostic as to the type of crisis as we do not know what type of global shock we may face in the future. Further, the Secretary General would decide when to convene an emergency platform in response to a complex global shock or put in simpler terms, a global shock is whatever the United Nations leadership says it is, triggered whenever the UN desires. The emergency platform proposal might be the biggest attempted power grab in the history of the United Nations, but as shocking as it is, it pales in comparison to the Biden administration's treatment of this extremist proposal. Rather than assert America's independence and sovereignty, the White House has expressed its support for the emergency platform. U.S. Ambassador Chris Liu noted in at least two March 2022 speeches that the Biden administration backs the emergency platform, along with numerous other proposals included in our common agenda. The emergency platform would centralize an immense amount of power and influence, given the United Nations greater control over the lives of Americans than it's ever had before. And rather than stand up for Americans' rights, President Biden has already agreed to sell us out. If the emergency platform is approved, 
the United States as we know it, could cease to exist. That sounds dire, but it's true. We either stand for freedom now or risk everything come September 2024. For Headlines with a Voice, this is Felicia Lockhart.